I'd like to ask a question. I'd like to ask a question, but uh, I'd like to have a right answer first from you. Because in the beginning, you said that uh, when Jesus was talking, when he was 12 years old, he said, I am in the house of my father. And you said he is God's son. When he was 12 years old. And then you said again after that when he was crucified, he was in pain, horror, suffer, because in true, he didn't know if he is son of God or not. So it was two points. You said that when he was 12 years old, you said that he know that he is God's son. And then you said when he was crucified, he was feeling pain and horror, then because he didn't truly know that if he is a son of God or not. And then your fellow come and said that it is not he is not a son of God, he is God. So I'd like to have a straight answer from you first, so I can ask my question. Do you know him or you consider him as a son of God or you consider him as a God? If you answer me, I give you my question. Because I feel it's a little bit very much different than each other and against each other, the two of you. So tell me what you believe in and then I will ask my question. Uh, I believe Jesus is God and that he is son of God. What both? Is <laughs> then he is the son. He is the son of God. And in the same time, he is the father. And the same time, he came to the earth. What you want to say? Tell me, because I like to ask a question. So tell me what you believe in. <laughs> we say both of us that Jesus is God, part of the three Yune God, and at, that He is the Son of God. We do not say that He is the Father. The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Spirit. The Spirit is not the Father. It is too big for my mind to think that He is free and oh, still one. Shortly you want to say that you believe in Trinity. Yes. The Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Yes. Okay, then my question is not to you. My question now will be to Mr. Didat because he explained this point before many times and he's better to explain it to you and to your fellow better than me. Please explain that to them, Dr. Didat. See, the Holy Quran tells us to tell them don't say Trinity. This is topic. It will be better for you. For your God is one God, is not three in one. And this is the evidence we have from the Bible. This verse on the Trinity, you have it there in that Bible of yours, I know. That is the other as James version. The English one that you have. And then your Danish one is also based on the authorized. King James Version. This is not the right. Now there you find in the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. First epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. First epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. Where it says, For there are three that may record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Am I correct, sir? No. What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> there are three witnesses, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And the three agree. Right. Now that is the revised version of the Bible. That one now, you can say it's not the King James Version, that is the revised version. Okay. Right. It's so okay. it is a Danish question, but similar. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. The English, when you're reading the Danish one, that may be based on the revised version. Now, here is the revised version of the Bible. Done by 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations of Christendom, and that verse is now thrown out as a fabrication. That that verse that you are reading actually was a marginal note made by a certain vigilance of taxes in the 6th century for his own edification or for his children 
and that when the people were given for printing, those words crept into the main text. So they have now been thrown out as a fabrication. In the revised standard, but every modern translation, Moffat's translation, New World translation, revised version, revised American version, they have all thrown it out as a fabrication. That this is not supposed to be the book. Then, you see, you go to this man himself, the master himself, Jesus. In, in the Gospel of St. Mark, brother, in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 19, I'm sorry, Mark, chapter 9, verse 12, uh, you'll you, you bear this out. A Jew comes to him and questions him, said, Master, what commandment is the first of all? You remember the sense. Master, Rabbi, in the Hebrew language, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answers and says unto him, the first is, you remember that? The first is, in Hebrew, he must have spoken in Hebrew to his people. Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord of our God, the Lord is one. Is that the answer he gave? Yes. Right. Jesus Christ is questioned, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answers and says unto the Jewish learned man, scribe, a learned man, the first is, hear, O Israel, the Lord of our God, the Lord is one not three in one. That was the right time. If he came to preach Trinity, he should have said, you see, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we three are one, you have to believe in that, if you want to be saved. He said nothing of the kind. He repeats word for word what was given by Moses 1300 years before, without the change of a thought. Not one jot or one tittle, he says, shall pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break, one of these least commandments, or shall teach men so, shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever shall teach and do, shall be called great. So, the teaching of Jesus, he never taught you that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God, but there are not three gods, but one God. Nowhere, nowhere in the Bible, any Bible, there is no such statement, the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God, but there are not three gods, but one God. Is there any such thing in the Swedish Bible, Danish Bible? That the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy that's what you say in your family and in your church. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God, but there are not three gods, but one God. Is there such a statement in the Bible? In your Bible, sir? No. I know in my Bible it doesn't exist. It's not there in my Bible. No, but there are so many different bits that when they are fit together, they can only fit the greatness of God in this way. But God is greater than our logic can keep in one word. But as God says, it says, your book says, sir, uh, that God is not the author of confusion. Am I correct, sir? This is confusion. No. But it is key. قل يا أهل الكتاب تعالوا إلى كلمة سواء بيننا وبينكم ألا نعبد إلا الله ولا نشرك به شيئا ولا يتخذ بعضنا بعضا أربابا من دون الله فإن تولوا فقولوا اشهدوا بأننا مسلمون أشهده والله إنها إن الله واشهد أن محمد رسول الله